Hello everyone and assalamu alaikum. This is the introduction to psychology part 1 PSY 3 1 2 but your knowledge. Okay, last time we discussed about the sensory threshold in which we discussed the uh, absolute threshold in the, and um, the differential threshold and in the end we discussed about the Weber's law. So if you haven't watched that video, I have given the link in the description section. So in case if I forget, do remind me in the comment section. I will update the description section for you. So in this video, we'll start with the part three of the lesson one. The lesson one is about the characteristic and major functions of uh, different sensations and uh, in part three we will discuss about the sensory adaptation with the examples and in the end we will also discuss the importance of sensory ad adaptation and why sensory adaptation is important so let's start with our today's video that is sensory adaptation i've included two definitions uh, the first definition is the de decline in sensitivity to a constant stimuli or you can say weakened magnitude weakened magnitude of a sensation resulting from prolonged presentation of the stimulus so a basically continued presentation of the same stimulus however causes the receptors to become less sensitive to that particular stimulus so this process known as adaptation occurs very rapidly and when odors and tastes are um, involved so uh, uh, another factor that influences the registration of sensation is uh, sensory adaptation and it is a phenomena in which there is a gradual decline in sensitivity uh, to a constant stimulus. For example, if you go into a sweet meat shop, the aroma of the freshly made sweets is quite strong and may be uh, seen enticing or nauseating. Uh, if we were to uh, stay for some time, we may no longer notice the smell. Now, in reality, the intensity of the odor remains the same, but your, in sens your sensitivity to it decreases. And sensory adaptation occurs because the sensory receptor cells become less reproductive to a constant stimulus and adaptation is a feature that is common to um, all the sensory systems and um, it is another process which should demonstrate that the experiences of sensations are relative and sensory ad adaptation is relative to the duration of exposure and uh, basically our sensory system um, our sensory system have evolved to detect the changes in the environment um, rather than the constants and we become accustomed to constant stimuli and thus are able to notice a new or changing stimuli and we do not need to be constantly reminded of our clots on our body but we do not but we do need to know about the changes in the environment that may threaten our safety so some senses like smell and touch adapt quickly but we never completely adapt to visual or extremely intense stimuli um, like the heat of the sun, the burn on our hand and so on. So from an evolutionary perspective, it can be said that these exceptions to sensory adaptation aid in survival as they remind us to avoid extreme heat and to do something about the burn on the hand. So to understand the brain, um, to understand how the brain uh, um, makes internal representation of the physical world, it is um, important to have an understanding of uh, the sensory systems. So basically, uh, when a stimulus is um, continuously present, uh, or repeated at short intervals, the sensation that the same amount of uh, sensory energy causes becomes gradually weaker, largely because the receptor cells become fatigued. And it happens to some extent in 
all the senses uh, loud sounds and offensive odors fortunately also seem uh, less intense as uh, time goes by so uh, we can say that um, for example if I share another example in order to clear the point uh, suppose your best friend has invited you over a spaghetti dinner and as you walk in the front door you're almost overwhelmed by the order of uh, onions and garlic cooking on the stove uh, however after just a few moments you no longer notice the smell now why this happens because your sensory receptors become less responsive to a constant stimulus and this gradual decline in sensitivity to a constant stimulus is called sensory adaptation uh, sensory adaptation so once again we see that our experience of sensation is relative in this case and um, relative to the duration of exposure so uh, because uh, if you talk about the in, uh, importance of the sensory adaptation so because of sensory adaptation we become accustomed to constant stimuli which allow us to quickly notice new or changing stimuli and this makes sense if we were continually aware of all the incoming stimuli, we would be so overwhelmed with the sensory information that we wouldn't be able to focus our attention. So, for example, uh, once you manage to land your um, posterior uh, on the sofa, you don't need to be constantly reminded that the sofa is beneath you. So this is the importance of sensory adaptation. So you can know the changes or you can know uh, you can notice the new stimuli so uh, it allows us to quickly notice new or changing stimuli uh, so this was the end of the video if your concept is clear you can like the video if not you can ask us in the comment section and we will be happy to help you out plus if you're new to this channel and you want to stay notified you can subscribe to our channel you can click on the bell icon and you will never ever miss any notification from dear knowledge plus you can share the link of the video link of the channels with your family members and friends because sharing is caring until then, Allah Hafiz.